Good evening, LA. Michael Hastings in a car crash. This has been a goal of mine, you know, to to direct production workshop too. I mean, I really want to direct for the rest of my life, preferably. And uh, I made a goal for semester to to be the one to direct production workshop too when when it came to be on my time. Great, excellent. Let's do some business first. Let's do some business first. We knew we were going to be in sort of a backstage kind of area. Um, it's like a band, like kind of a punk band. Uh, so we started there and uh, just sort of designed uh, the area in general. And then so what the lighting was going to look like. We used a lot of warm lights, um, tungsten lights and warm lights uh, for early part of the film uh, where they have a conversation on the couch. Uh, just to give it sort of a more homey feel, a little more safe feel. That's you, James. You're on top right now. What if the Stones decided to change their image at the peak of their career? Don't you want to rock till you're Mick Jagger's age? Yeah, John. It was a hypothetical. He doesn't want to reveal himself to the world for fear of what they might think, fear of what his best friend Paul is going to think, and his manager, and all sorts of things going through his or my head, however you want to look at it. What if the manager drops me if I change my image? What if this ruins our career? What if the fans don't agree? What if they don't like us? It was based on a real life against me, the singer, coming out as a transgender male. James's character, what is so interesting about the piece is that we see his battle. Like we see what he is going through to to try and come to terms with the fact that he doesn't feel right with how he has been up to this point for the world. And, you know, that's a big decision to make to basically reveal yourself in this way. I know he's going through some stuff, but it's like our relationship is set up kind of that I just, we don't really talk about deep stuff, you know. Look. We'll meet you out there, but John's gonna have a fit if we're all late, so. Characters in the piece are kind of, they, they all play their own their own part, you know. You have, obviously, the main uh, protagonist and the guy you're kind of rooting for and you don't really know his problem, really. And then you got, you know, the support system and, and Danny and, and you kind of got the contrast with Paul, he's so, He's such a bro, you know. It's been really easy to work with him because he's very um, specific about what he wants. And I think as an actor, there's nothing worse than working with a director who doesn't really have a clear vision. And he absolutely does. This is like priority three. And I have no problem with scratching. Even just like the tone of his voice, I feel like He's just a very comforting person to be around, and he'll be like, okay, like, try it this way this time. And just a little less aggressive. In the beginning, we had to really think about this 10-page script and how we were going to make it all happen. And um, at first, I think it was very overwhelming. But then we had Carolina, our production designer, and she came in with a whole 3D model of what we were going to do with the room, which was really cool to look at, because then we were all visualizing it as a group. I sit down with Ethan, and I ask him, like, oh, so we have almost like three rooms, like a hallway, a green room, and a dressing room. And I kind of explain my way how I think would be the best way to to design it. And he was like, oh, that's exactly how I imagine. We kind of laid out also the way the script was going to go, thinking about movements and where they were going to go. So 
we come up with this idea that green room will come right after a hallway that will lead to a dressing room. Yes, great track. Hey, let's shoot. Um, we got a second mark for Matt. Pre-production was actually where the majority of our work went into it because we would spend a lot of long hours on the stage making sure that everything was getting properly lit and getting all of our overhead rigging all locked down. So then when it came down to actual production, we were moving efficiently, just bringing in the lights that we needed and we're all set to go. And the door opens onto my feet. That's going to be... We can do it so as the door opens we get right in. If you want to... Sorry, go back to the tube. I'm sorry. It's just the pain. It took a lot, honestly, from all of us. And it wasn't so much stressful, just a lot of hard work. And we did a good job, honestly. The set looked awesome. Everyone who came in loved the set. And, yeah, we put in a lot of hard work. We had a really smooth operation. I had Roger as my first AC. Uh, Joachim was my second AC and he killed it. He was on top of everything. He just got me anything I needed, batteries, memory cards, anything, and he really helped. The piece itself is about identity. It's about staying true to who you are, which is a pretty universal theme. Uh, everyone, I think, struggles every day to one, understand who they are, and two, stay true to, to that image of themselves. When someone sits down and they watch it, I hope that they take away the idea that it's not what other people think of you that matters, it's what you think of you. It takes like eight weeks to prepare for these two days, and then the two days are over, and they're kind of sad and stuff. Um, but the best part was, was after we're done preparing and we're actually shooting and being able to take a step back for a second look at the whole set and the whole crew just working and they already know what's going on and what's next and stuff and just take a step back and watch the crew care about my project the way I care about it it's, it's really cool it's, it's, it's cool to see a bunch of people get behind your idea and, and work and it was a good time working with all the people that were involved whether they were in a class or not it was a lot of fun and I think just being on set it was like a, one big family on the same page, um, you know, from from just the help to everyone in the class. All in all, it was my first film, and I did it with my friends, and I did it with a big support system and Judy and Cecily, and it was something that will be in my mind for the rest of my life.